Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this look right here. As you can tell, it's a little different than what we usually do. Um, I tried to do a little bit, keyword tried. I tried to do a more graphic eyeliner kind of vibe. Um, I saw Kensington on TikTok. I think it's on TikTok. I saw her do this look and I screenshotted it because I just thought it was really cool um obviously mine's a little larger than hers it's a little bit more chunky but listen i have said it a hundred thousand times i am not good with the eyes like i don't know how to <laughs> use a lot of eyeliner and eyeshadow but i figured let's play we like to evolve here on my channel every once in a while okay even though i did do a different look we are still playing with some newer products, some products I haven't shared with you guys here on my channel before. Also, this video is not sponsored. I know you guys have been seeing a lot of sponsored content, so, um, and I, I feel like you guys just get it at this point. In order for me to sustain this channel and to keep creating content, I have to partner. I'm lucky to be at a point where I get to pick and choose who I partner with, so that's awesome. But today, we are just, it's all me, girl. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's just jump right into the look. You guys will not believe this. Actually, you may believe this. I cannot believe that I just filmed an entire look and I did not have the sound on. So that's nice. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the skin. I literally took everything off. The first thing I'm gonna use is the Outset Firming Vegan Collagen Prep Serum. I've been loving this. It's a really great first step after cleansing. Very hydrating, not heavy. It's quite lightweight. It's very, like the formulation is very creamy so it just really goes into the skin as like a nice base and then i'm gonna go with the lip balm so next up we're gonna use the sephora all day hydrator just a nice moisturizer that i've been using from them and then i'm going to mix in a little bit of the super goop stuff the glow screen just to add some glow underneath the skin so i'm going to start with some concealer on the eyes and I'm just gonna use the Dior Bak Show Flash Perfect Concealer and this one is in the shade 3W. It seems like she has a little bit of eyeshadow kind of going throughout the crease, something really easy and simple. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way, the Natural Nudes Palette. I'm gonna use a nice uh, transition shade. I'm gonna use this shade right here. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Warm Rose. I'm going to use this shade, it's actually a blush. It's in the shade Shame On You and it's by Sephora Collection. And I'm just gonna use this shade right here. Just go right up on the, underneath the brow. Even though I haven't even done my brows, it makes everything look a little bit more uniform. This is my Rare Beauty um, Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Liner. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to start by creating like where this is gonna go. I think I want it to just go straight out. Like that, okay. And then So I kind of created the way in which I want the line to begin. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm not gonna talk. Oh my God, I'm gonna have to clean this up. Oh, this just got even worse. Oh, what is that, a fish hook? Why? This one looks way better. See how this just goes like straight out? This one like dips and then like goes straight back out. It's not even right. I'm gonna use my lash scented. <laughs> Sensational. I 
Now we must fix. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer. And then we are going to use the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20. 20. This I like to just apply all over my face with my fingers. I think it's just easier that way. And I just take a little bit like this. Start to use, focus on the center of my face, then spread out. I'm just gonna use my Tried and True Kosas Concealer. I got mine in the shade 6W, no, 060, yeah, 6. Um, I don't know, I used to use other shades in this, but I feel like I finally found like the right one for me, which is really nice. This is my e.l.f. brush that I tell you guys about all the time. That's life changing. So now for brows, I'm gonna use this. It's the Iconic Linden Liquid Brow, and this is one of their newer products, and I've really been liking it. I just love how tiny the brush is, so you can really coat every single one of those hairs to create and sculpt the brow, like whatever shape you want you're going for. And I already applied some of this on this morning, and I feel like I can just keep applying it. It doesn't get clumpy, it doesn't get white. This one, like, it can be white, but you just blend it out with a spoolie. I just brush and comb through every single brow hair. See how it just, like, gets so full and bushy? It's just an easy product to use. It's not one of those that I have to keep going in and add more product. It's just reliable. That's all we want is something reliable, you know? I'm gonna use a highlighter today. I'm gonna use a Rare Beauty Outshine. I like to just take this on the back of my hand. So I just put some here. Because I don't like it when it looks like a streak. I take my sponge and then I just start stamping this on very lightly. I'm just gonna keep it right here and then right above the temple and get it to really blend perfectly. Just do some down my nose and the chin. So I just got all these new hourglass high, uh, eyeliners. Um, these are supposed to be waterproof so I figured I would tight line with these because I don't know if you can see there's like a little space right there. Um, that when you use an eyeliner, you definitely want a tight line because that'll really just make it look even more full and seamless. This one is in the shade Foyer. Yeah, Foyer. Ooh, that sounds nice. Hopefully these don't smudge. If they're waterproof, I like to assume that they're going to stay put and not transfer. I always feel so weird. Now I'm going to set under my eyes because we have to do some eyeliner on top of the concealer. So I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier Honey Powder as per usual to do the rest of the look. We are gonna just basically do a line cascading underneath. You guys, to be completely honest, I don't know if I like this. We're just gonna do the rest of the face because we've made it this far. I'm not gonna just stop out of nowhere. So let's just continue. I'm gonna take the Say uh, Sun Melt in medium bronze. And I'm going to bronze up my skin. Keep trying to use this product earlier when I was filming this before and there was no sound. Um, and I could not for the life of me get this product to apply the way I wanted it to until I used the brush that came with it. And I was like, oh my God, this is like life changing. So I don't know if it's necessarily this brush, but like a Kabuki brush I think is best. And just really create a nice glow to the skin. So I'm gonna use the shade Believe. I have the bigger one. I just don't know why I'm using the small one, but this is from Rare Beauty. And I'm just gonna do a couple of dots. Like this shade is definitely more my shade. I bought the shade Happy and it was just like not, it's just too pink. 
Actually, I think these would be really good blended together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take the extra on my brush and just put it right where like the brow bone is. I have this really pretty blush I wanted to use. It's Patrick Ta's She's Adorable. And it's just this really pretty corally sun-kissed kind of color. I think it will look really pretty on top of this blush. Use some right here. I'm gonna use this Hot Gossip Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna go in with this. I just got it. It's the Givenchy uh, Rose Perfecto Lip Balm. It has this like really pretty like marbling through it. And I just thought it'd be really nice to try. I love these like balmy products. <gasps> it's so pretty. Spray the face. Where's my fan? Guys, look how cute this fan is. I bought it while I was in Newport. It has a little bear on it. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot, guys. Um, so what I've been doing a lot is setting my face with a setting spray. I take my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and I just Go in like a little touch right underneath, underneath the eye, the side of my nose like this. And I feel like it just makes such a huge difference. So I'm gonna just do a little bit right there. Same thing. And this way, I don't know why, but it just, it works better for me personally. I don't want to do too much. You guys, Kensington's, hers is definitely way better. I mean, it's very different, but we kind of got the same vibe going on. Alrighty, so that is the look completed. I actually just quickly threw on some freckles. I'm actually really proud of us for coming this far. I really wanted to quit many times, but we did it. And I'm not mad about it at all. I still think it's like a really cool look it's different and i just i really want to try and experiment with you guys um with different looks and stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did thumbs up this video if you have any video requests anything you want me to do here on my channel that you would like to see let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye